Although, they put stuff on my eyes. Look, do I look any different? <gasps> I know, right? <laughs> oh. But then again, the bar there closes at 5.30. So you can't even escape up there because the bar closes at 5.30. to you. Well, it's, gosh, it's like 11 o'clock. Of course, we had to set our clocks back, excuse me, had to set our clocks forward, clocks forward an hour. So we're in East Coast time now. So we're a little messed up. It's like 11 o'clock and... It, <laughs> it's like 7 o'clock our time. We're still, yeah, you don't know what time it is anymore. We're not rushing to get off the ship. We'll let the masses get out first. We're gonna have a late breakfast. We call this brunch, almost, right? Almost. Oh. Let me show you what Brandy's having. I'm still doctoring it up. Good morning, my love. Good morning. And that looks so lean. Actually, that, that does look different than yesterday. Why? You got some oatmeal. I added oatmeal to it. Yeah. But other than that, it's the same. Toast sausage. Actually, it's turkey sausage today. Um, Turkey sausage, right? And then, yeah. Okay. And I'm about to doctor up my coffee, so it's creamy and delicious. All right, a little coffee with her cream. Did you show them what's out the window? I will in a second. Oh. Uh, this is mine. Looks a lot like yesterday, right? I just, I didn't do biscuits and gravy this morning. I went with uh, English muffin. I really like their corned beef hash. I don't know why. It's kind of like, uh, I shouldn't like it that much because it's not great for me, but damn, I like it. It's very corned beefy. Yeah, I got a little orange juice over here too. Uh, look at the water. My God, that is just crazy. Here we are. Yeah, I'm looking through the window, so I got some streaks in the window there. But and then next to us is the Valiant Lady. Hello, Virgin. Being out a Virgin ship, I'm guessing it's its first time here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, that was terrible. You don't okay. care, Yeah, yeah, I'll be here all week. All right, babe, enjoy your toast. We'll see y'all in a little bit. Yeah. All right, we're here in Costa Maya. The waters are beautiful. They are crystalline blue, and it's partly cloudy today, so warm and not beating down on you type sun. I guess that doesn't sound right. Let's rephrase that. There's partly cloudy and super warm, so you won't feel like you're getting fried, even though you're going to come back looking like a lobster. Anyway, we're going to go into the city and see, I think it's called Maha Wall. I really want to go see, um, like, the crazy lobster and to some of the other little beach um, restaurants and, and clubs that are down there and see the vendors and so forth. So I'm excited. It's a different scene um, than what we did last time when we were in Costa Maya. Last time we went and did the Mayan ruins and I wasn't so impressed with that, that tour. Um, so I'm looking to just some, for some beach time and, you know, a few drinks. Um, anyway. We have Takanyaki for dinner tonight, and I don't think we have any shows planned, so I think it's going to be like a Triominos night, you know, maybe some dice, something to just kind of like stay out of the way of the throngs of people, um, because it is kind of crazy on the ship right now. Anyway, I'll talk to you soon. So this is one of my, this is one of my issues. We're at the Spice H2O. And my issue is, if I want to be sit around anywhere by the bar, all the tables have ashtrays. So you can smoke anywhere in here. My issue with that is, I'm not a smoker. And 
when I come to a uh, adults only area, I don't think I should have to smell cigarettes down there. So that's my issue. But here's some uh, more shots of the area. warm and humid today, so that water cooking might feel pretty good. Oh, there you go. This is as quiet as I have seen it, because everybody's going to shore right now, which is where we're going to go next, so we'll see you then.
Okay, Brandy and I are in the port, coast of Maya, and we are gonna go find something to eat or drink or something. Oh, look, there she is. Moving on, but they can't see us. Hello. Yeah, beautiful. I got a Ticcati. She does, and I have Dos Equis. Dos Equis. It is beautiful out here right now. Yeah, so we did not make our way into the city. Nope. We kind of just found a little restaurant and we're having some beer and a lovely view and a wonderful breeze and a great view of the virgin virgin ship and you can see in the background that the carnival ship has just come in so the amount of people in the port has just tripled yeah it's uh, <laughs> i'm really glad we're not going out to do anything else today in fact we're probably going to Make our Walk way back to the, the ship shortly. Port a little bit after this beer and then uh, yeah, go back to where the drinks are free. Yeah. Well paid for. But a beautiful day here in Costa Maya, so uh, I can't complain about the weather. And they got the breeze and the water is, it's, it looks fake. It looks fake. Very rough seas today though. Yeah, it is a little windy out there. It's a good thing we're not trying to snorkel or anything. I don't think that would, I probably would cancel it, I would think. I think so. Too. Yeah. All right, we'll get you back on the ship. How was Costa Maya, Brand? You know, we may not have made it to the city, but it was awful relaxing to just sit and have a beer and look out over the ocean and not be, like, bombarded by salespeople. Although, they put stuff on my eyes. Look, do I look any different? <gasps> I know, right? <laughs> oh, so sexy now. It's only $350 for two drops. Today, in port. Otherwise, it's $1,000 online. You, you, you got to buy it now. Yeah, well, we didn't buy it, did we? I didn't buy it. We didn't buy it. Here's a little view. Really pretty water. I love the water. I'm going to walk over here for a second before I get trampled. Because the water is just so incredible. I forget until I come back here. I'm crossing the red line. I'm crossing the red line. There we go. Look at that. I'm law abiding. I crossed the line between good and evil. <laughs> okay, let's continue on. Again, he does it when I have no idea the camera's rolling. Tapanyaki. Tapanyaki. <laughs> Tapanyaki. Tapanyaki. It's like magic. Yeah, look at that. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? All right, well, we're going to have uh, some tapanyaki food. Let you know how it goes.
That's definitely a Riley. It isn't though. I need to go up to her room. No. It's over here at the end of the bar. Are you getting drinks? Oh, yeah. now I see it. I didn't even see it. Just sit up. All right. What did you think of Teppanyaki? It was good. Okay, we've been kind of dogging on this ship a lot. With good reason, this was turned in the right direction. It was a really good dinner, very entertaining, delicious. Um, our chef was wonderful. And uh, I have no complaints. No. Yeah, if you get a Soul chance and you're on NCL, make sure you do the top and yaki. Highly suggest it. Yes, I agree. Um, make sure that you don't eat lunch two, <laughs> two hours before. And one of, our, so full. one of our friends thought that they were doing filet mignon still. They are not. It was not filet mignon, yeah. but the steak was still really, really good. Yeah, it was New York. But that's and okay the with me. Oh, yeah. Well, to be fair, look, I'm, I'm no steak, ex steak expert, but I will take a New York steak any day over filet mignon because filet mignon is tender, but New York has better flavor. So, therefore, I was perfectly fine. Uh, anything else? Oh, green tea cake. I don't like green tea stuff, but that was kind of good. Yeah, I had cream cheese in the middle. It yeah. was delicious. I didn't take any pictures. Not bad. You just have to imagine. So I'm squirreling. My niece is at the end of the bar screaming. Yeah, you hear the off. child? That's that's a, that's our niece. That's our niece. We love her. We love her. She's sweet, then she's a terror. Then she's sweet, then she's a terror. She's huh. she's a turtler. Turtler, yeah. It's a new it's a term we just learned. She's, she's uh more than a toddler. A toddler with a temper. Toddler with a temper. She's a turtler. Anything else? No, we're going to try to make Howlin' at the Moon, which is the piano bar thingy where they have the dueling pianos. Yeah. Um, other than that, I mean, I may not even drink anymore tonight. It might be just a water night. So. She told me. That. I will. Totally. Yeah, I'm about to go get a vodka soda. I got to digest a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I'm so it cool. helps me digest. Uh, yeah, I couldn't eat, <laughs> eat anywhere near all the food that they had for us. Yeah. It was a shame. They made the shrimp. It was so good. And they had all the shrimp still. I'm like, I want to eat it, but I can't. And I kept pushing my food off on his plate. Yeah, make me look bad. Okay. Well, hey, uh, we'll catch you in a while. Uh, and we'll sum up more. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Chris, this and is Sheila. This Hi. is for Chris and Sheila. <laughs> a rusty nail. Uh, not foo foo Sheila like we like. It's just a double vodka soda. But think of that nail. Rusty Cheers nail. To you too. We miss you. Jane. Can't wait to sell in March of 2024 with you. Oh. All right. Kamar, yes. well, thank you for the rusty nail. <laughs> I have stumped Chris. No, no, she hasn't stumped me. We're trying to think of this actress's name who was in Nanny McPhee. She was in The English Patient. She played a role in Mary, Mary Potter movies. <laughs> Helen and we can't think of her name and we don't have Google on our phones right now. Okay, well, Chris and Sheila. Chris, this is my second rusty nail tonight, number two. Against better judgment, I'm having a second one. If I, if I don't feel good later, you know why. <laughs> if my room is spinning when I'm trying to sleep tonight, we know if why. If praying to the porcelain god, I'll be laughing my ass off. No, no, no. God, I hope not. No, uh, this is, anyway. Uh, we're in the bar mix. Let me show you the mix. And Kumar, in our bartender, we're here. Uh, Bar that I find it funny that there's a sign that says 21 and older can drink the liquor. 
but if you're guests that are 18 or over with parental consent can have beer or wine. Yeah. I've never seen that before. Yeah. It throws me through a loop. I don't get it. Like it doesn't say I don't get it. It doesn't say it has to be their parent either. It just says written parental consent. So I'm thinking maybe they could just find some parent and say, hey, could you write me a consent? Okay, maybe not. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. I may have to edit that one out. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> okay, we'll talk to you later. All right. Okay. <laughs> what was the name, Brandy? Emma Thompson. Yes. She messed with my head on this one. I, I am good at that stuff, and I could not think of that name. Emma freaking Thompson. Okay, well, at least I know now, because otherwise I may not have been able to get sleep tonight. So I have to thank my wife. Thank you, hon. What? I said thank you. She doesn't, she doesn't even listen to me. She's like, this is, this is me. This is my voice. This is what she hears. That's, that's what she hears. Thank you, Kumar. Kumar, you're the best. Kumar, have a good night, man. After, after you after close you. up. All right. Uh, this is for Chris and Sheila. I have a third Rusty now. Hopefully, I don't get too wasted by doing this. Anyway, I thought Chris would appreciate this. So this is out. This is a shout out to you, Chris. Rusty nail number three. God, I hope it all turns out okay. Cheers. Okay, well, it's currently, technically it's 11.20. We're setting our clocks back again tonight, so it's, for all intent and purposes, it's actually 10.20. So it's 10 something at night or 11 something a night. It depends on how you want to look at it. But here's the thing. We've been drinking. Not that you all care, because I don't expect you to care about that. And there's a few people out there, I think you know who I'm talking about. Um, but here's the thing. Every cruise I've ever been on, if you're hungry after drinking, you need to be able to put some food in your stomach. It helps buffer things. Um, so you, it's just, a better way to go. Late night food before you go to bed. If we want any food, there's only one place that's open, Oceans. There's a 30 minute wait because you have to be seated so they can serve you. I have a real problem with that. There's nowhere I could just get like something to go. There's no buffet open, there's no little cafe open. No late night pizza. There's no late night pizza. So I guess they don't care if we get anything to eat this late at night. Oh, we did find some cookies tucked away in a corner in the casino. We call them smoky cookies because they're in the casino and everything in the casino is smoky. I'm trying really hard, really, really hard to <laughs> not be negative about this cruise, but it's, uh, God, it's, it's challenging me, man. It's challenging me. Uh, the only thing I can find that I can just grab right now is some cookies. That's it. Look, I'm not even that hungry. I just like to eat something after I've been drinking. Uh, before I go to bed. I don't want to, you know, I don't want it to get to me. They don't have any problem giving me booze, but they have a problem giving me food. <laughs> We're trying to make the most of it. Um, not been a stellar experience so far. It really hasn't. I do like a lot of things about the ship. I don't want you to think that Tapanyaki there's nothing wonderful. I like. Yeah, the teppanyaki is good. We have a couple of nice bars we like. Um, we found a little spot up on the sun deck area. Uh, which would that be like 16? Deck mm -hmm. 16? It's technically deck 16. Um, I'll try to show you in some sort of tour thing in the next couple of days. But it's a great little thing. But then again, the bar there closes at 
So you can't even escape up there because the bar closes. 5.30. 5.30. Which means you can only hang out there till 5.30. What if it's a port day and you go into port and you come back and you want to hang out and you want to have a couple drinks? Sorry, we're closed. <sighs> See, I tried again. I tried again. Brandon thinks I'm getting worked up. Maybe I am. Look, anybody who's watched my videos, our videos, knows that I don't get worked up that easily. I really don't. I'm pretty easy going, laid back. So <laughs> for me to get like this irritated, it says something. Anyway. How about the smoking? Oh, At the kids club. Okay, so we're walking through the casino. Should we just show them? We're, we're, we're gonna, okay. You we're can't gonna show them the casino. Oh, the casino. I can't show you because right now I can't film in the casino, okay? The casino is smoky. Evidently, they don't really care really about non-smokers on this cruise ship because there's a lot of us. I would say we far outnumber the, the smokers. And hey, nothing against you smokers. I'm not trying to pick on you. I'm picking on the, the cruise line, really. So if you walk through the casino, you come right up against open air, right up against a restaurant. I forget, Shanghai? Shanghai, yeah, like noodles or Shanghai. What it, it's called Shanghai. It's all open. It's right there. There's no separation between the casino and the restaurant. Uh, we got bowling behind the camera here, in case you're wondering. So I have an issue with that. There's families in there sitting with their kids eating dinner, and there's and there's smoke flowing into the restaurant. We're gonna we're gonna walk. <laughs> oh, it's par for the course. So anyway, as we are saying, like, it's poorly laid out. Um, yeah, I just, I have a real problem when you're blowing smoke into the face of kids and non-smoking passengers because you're catering to the few and not the many. That's all. And again, we're not trying to pick on any of you who smoke. Look, it's your right. And, and look, we're not criticizing you for being smokers. We're not. That's not the point we're trying to make. It's just as non-smokers, I, I don't want to have to breathe in smoke to do normal things. So, spots. So for me, it's hard because I get, I, it basically affects me. Well, then you smell like smoke when you go back to your but cabin. That's, that's neither here nor there. I mean, I don't smoke if you want to smoke. I don't give a but. What? Sorry. Uh, I just don't think yet another piece. should be letting it be a plethora of places. Well, anyway, there's some ranting for you. So, I'm, uh, I'm a bit intoxicated and there will be no problem for me. I am not going to wait 30 minutes to eat something. I don't know, I guess at this point it's, it's out of principle. You're going to have this many people on the ship. You gotta have more food options that are included. I shouldn't have to go pay for food. Uh, there you go. So, um, I don't even think we need to sum up our day that much. I think that sums it up enough. Costa Maya was fine. Do a sum up tonight. Here's here's a sum up. Costa Maya was fine. We slept in late. Had a nice relaxing breakfast slash brunch. Went to Costa Maya. Hung out at the port had a few drinks uh, and came back in and just went sort of dinner? yeah went to lunch then dinner had some drinks and there were some good times that we had today we we didn't we weren't miserable but it's it's the negative things are starting to outweigh the positive things so tomorrow's day four hopefully things turn around we're gonna go to Carvis K and I'm hoping that they impress me with the private island. We'll see. All right. Till tomorrow. Sweet dreams, sweet, sweet awakenings, whatever it might be for you. We'll catch you later.